and who we are very familiar with each other. I don't. Uh, I needed to introduce myself. Uh, is, that, is this side Maybe better? No, no, it's fine. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's fine there. So um, today uh, I will introduce the Chinese history, uh, and uh, my, for my name, I needn't introduce myself anymore. And uh, so. Today I will introduce three points, and the first one, the maps to show the development of China uh, in different era, in di different periods, and uh, seven points along the timelines of Chinese history, because we have uh, five thousand years history, more than five thousand, it's difficult to see in, in detail as some uh, special points. And next one is a brief information about the modern history of China, and it's mm, yeah, I'm really receives with this part. Okay. So um, at first, uh, just to show you the, the position of China, and just uh, uh, the uh, Mr. Dimak, uh, to, uh, we talked about uh, the uh, uh, China. The, the size is similar to the American one. The America is a little larger than China, and uh, so in China, the China the map, it, it looks like a, a crook. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, and uh, so uh, the. the these are the provinces. In China, we have 34 provinces, and they are in different colors. So uh, the, the shape of the different provinces is, di is different like this, like the ones here. Uh, they are very direct, the lines here in America, the United the every States. Because we have the, uh, the, like the, the rivers or the, uh, the mountains, also because of the history. In, uh, in the history, uh, in, the, in the ancient time, we have the border here, so now we have the border here. So that's the way, and now my hometown is here. So it's like a camel. Yeah. <laughs> so, like this one. And uh, there are some very ones like this one, it's like a bird. And uh, this one is like a dinosaur, something like that. <laughs> so, so many different pictures in the Chinese map because of the history. And this is the timeline of Chinese history. So from this point, this is about uh, two uh, five thousand and uh, six years ago. Okay, so it can trace back to five thousand uh, so many years ago. Um, it's just it's just uh, uh, um, we just show this picture uh, according to the the recorded history. Maybe we have the earlier one, this part, but we don't think um, it's. Uh, we have no uh, evidence, so we just should uh, no ones. And this is uh, uh, different colors is a different dynasty. Yeah. And so I change it into this timeline like this to show you several points. So and uh, this is the the maps the development of China. <laughs> This is India and this is China. And we will see the champ here. So at first, we are just a small all the small uh, different kingdoms have uh, different kings. This is the first time we become a, a country. Like this one. Well, that's why it's all one color now. Yeah, it's become one color, it's become uh, a united country. Very, in Asian camp, they are very dangerous. So we build the great wall this side to protect the country.
So that that all changed with wars. Is that sort of you know yeah, they have a war <laughs> and something? <laughs> because of the wars or the revolution. Sometimes it's just because yeah, the revolution. Yeah. So they change the the name of the dynasty, but they, there's no war. But most times they have war oh, okay. because the war and uh, the people fight for the more liberty, more right, and then the uh, uh, higher levels of life. Sometimes the king, they may, they have the, the, the terrible rules. Uh, when when they become um, stronger, they will be feel very bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they make the, the rule very terrible. The people will fight for fight against. Okay. And then and the new dynasty. A new dynasty comes. starts. Okay. And then the, it's more like the Chinese now. Now, so. Right. This is Russia. Yep, yep. Sure uh, is. <laughs> sure is. Well, Tibet's back to being its own thing. Ten bucks is that fast. Oh no. Tibet, Tibet goes back to China real quick. <laughs> there it is. Now China. Tibet's back in China. Yep. <laughs> okay, now. So this uh, this is China now. And uh, so today, about, about China, the map. So, I will say something. And so here, uh, after, um, about uh, 7,800 or 9,000 years ago, we found the Jin, uh, the, we found the, the, the earliest uh, uh, characters. It's not a character, we think. It is just a Jia Hu symbol. It's like the characters. So, but um, no, uh, we only found 17 different uh, symbols. So we think it's not a serious uh, character. So, and then, like this, just like this at the first, the Chinese character. And then three, about uh, three, uh, three thousand six hundred years ago, we found uh, we have the Jia Gu characters. We curve, we curve the character. This is the characters. We found uh, three thousand, uh, three thousand seven hundred different ones on the uh, on the bone of the animals. So they are a serious things. They even can record the history at this at this time, this period. So we think this is the the earliest characters, and then we developed it uh, through this, and then we change it, improve it, get the characters today. And this is, and then, so this is uh, the continent of hundreds schools of source, uh, because at this period there are many famous people like this one. Maybe you know this is a. Uh, Confucius. Confucius. Yeah, Confucius. And this one, you know something about about him. That is, here you may heard the feng shui. Mm -hmm. Feng shui. Yeah, feng shui is first developed by the man Lao Tzu. Yeah. So and uh, so it's a it's a dao a dao jiao. It's a kind of religion in China. It's founded by him. Yeah, so so many about uh, more than one hundred different kinds of schools of source. And then so this one. Uh, this is, but at that time, the China is uh, different countries, the smaller ones, and then, so at this point, to, uh, uh, 221 BC, the Qin Dynasty, the first Czech kingdom, the, the man uh, united the different countries. We become a, uh, maybe an empire. Uh, so this is also the first, uh, uh, the federal society, the federal society started at this point. And then the Tang Dynasty. Tang Dynasty is the China uh, go to the, the topest level uh, in the history. So like this, uh, many people they are wealthy and uh, the country is very strong. And so uh, also at that, that time we have the poem. The poems are also developed to the highest level at that point. Then we uh, went to the Qing Dynasty. And so along the timeline we have the famous four great inventions. This one is for how to make papers, the first one, and this one is uh, the campers to find the source north, and then we use this one to travel around uh, the, the world. And it's about at uh, uh, one thousand years ago, the China, a person called Zheng He, uh, he used uh, uh, the campers to travel to uh, Africa, yeah. and then this one is uh, the the gunpowder, the gunpowder. And then the fourth one is the printing, the printing, how to print. This is the four ancient inventing along the Qing line. But in Qing dynasty, at the end of the Qing dynasty, the China 
uh, went to the lowest point along history. So the country is divided into different parts. We are invaded, in fact. And so uh, many foreign countries have the role in China. They can open company, they can, they can do anything. They already can do many terrible things. So at that time, the China becomes, to, uh, maybe it should be said, uh, the, the, the semi-colonial and the semi-federal society. And the people are li uh, like this. So we become poor. And then we come to the People's Republic of China since 1949. So during this period, we held about 50 years war. So uh, a fight against uh, the foreigners, a fight uh, in, the, in, our, uh, in our own country, so about 50 years. All the, the, the people become poor and we have no food, no right to live here, so like this. And so this is the uh, October 1st, yesterday. So, but it is in 1949. Oh, that's right. So yeah, the that's the, the birthday, right? The yeah. birthday. So, yesterday yeah. is the birthday of China. Okay. So, of course, at that time, there's no colorful pictures. They are just like this. And uh, Yeah. <laughs> and uh, like this. So, the productiv productivity is very low. And uh, like this, this is the cities in China. And at that, that time. But the people become like this. Because the uh, people Republic of China are responding. And we have the right. We can be the uh, for the common people can be the leader of the of the country. So we have the right to um, fight for the the, the better life. And then um, so actually in 1949, the GDP is only uh, 123. Uh, so this uh, the it is Xi is a Chinese one. So and then in 1945, it is 1040. 448, and then in 1969, it's this one. It's the same? Yeah, so the same, yeah. And this one in 1979, it becomes much much higher, 4,000, over 4,000. And in 1949, uh, 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 1979, the China opened the door. We have the revolution. We opened the door to the world. And we have we have, we began to connect with the world to get more chance to develop. So then, um, in 1989, the GDP had become like this. And in 1991, we joined the WTO World Trade Organization. So the economy develops quickly. So then, in 1999, we come like like this. And this is this year. So it's about uh, so how to see. Uh, this is uh, billion, uh, 100,000 billion, uh, so for the GDP. Yeah, so we become very uh, wealthy now and we can make the people enjoy a better life. So, and, uh, so yesterday is uh, the national day, uh, 70 years old. And this is uh, mm, the song about, uh, uh, in China, because we have the long history, so the different people they gather together and then live together. Uh, we have 56 ethnic groups. So different people have their own hairstyle, clothes, and even their own language. But all the people can speak, uh, mo most people can speak Mandarin. So we can communicate. And this is uh, the song uh, seen by the different uh, ethnic groups for the country. And you can see some um, some scene in China in this video. I thought you said you were going to say you can sing too. I can sing it. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. The song is uh, I Love You, China. These are the life in a village, and then we will go to the cities. Yeah, yeah. Well, I need to 
修于金川河国，我爱你轻松几句，我爱你红梅皮。My voice is not sweet. No, it's beautiful. Thank you. It's the best part. They are from different um, provinces. You, you can see the difference. And then come together. Is there one from your province yet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Has there been one from your province? Uh, no, they are just uh, the ethnic groups. Uh, so we are the main part. Uh, the, oh, okay. Yeah, main group. The third video is about the, the normal life, the common people life in China for the national day. Um, because uh, we have, uh, uh, this is the 70th year. Every 10 year is a big, big, big day for China. And this, uh, we decorate the city and have different kinds of ceremony. This one. Today新闻首先来关注到的是随着国庆的灵通漂洋的五星红旗五彩缤纷的花卉景观到北京奥运会，浙江义乌小商品市场，灯光将一幕幕历史史实展现在眼前。璀璨的灯光展现前塘两岸七十年，为祖国献上祝福。在内蒙古自治区境内的满，满，满，满，满，满，满，满，满，
用当地特有的方式庆祝新中国成立七十周年。广西柳州的河东公园正在举办一场大型花卉展。展园共设置了巍峨长城、飘扬红旗、锦绣河山等四十余组大中型造型花展，献礼新中国成立七十周年。此次花卉展还增加了夜景灯光效果，不同的花坛在五彩纷呈。Okay, that is uh the something about China. So, uh because uh the the history, uh if you are interested in some special dynasties or some special points. I can introduce it to you and find some information. Because every, even every year, we have many kind of thing to, to to share about the stories or the 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 special events in China. And so this is just uh, some brief intro information. And also because yesterday is the National Day, so I introduce something about the modern mm -hmm. uh, history to you. Okay, that is for today's work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. So good voice, by the way. <laughs> you have a good singing voice. Good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Your singing was great. That was it the was. best part. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Bye. Have a nice Bye. Day. How much? How much history are students expected to know? Uh, In China. In school. Yeah. yeah. How much history do you learn? Um, for me, like me, I learned the the history. We have we have the history uh, classes since uh, in the primary school, mm -hmm. and then we learned in the middle school for the thousands of years. Just a brief information. Then we went to the high school. We learn more in detail. Also, we when we are in the in the in the high school, we need to learn the history around the world. Mm -hmm. So we know uh, so that's the reason so why I know um, many inform much, uh, much information about America about England, uh, also more about China. Mm -hmm. And then we have the special subjects in the college. And uh, also, most of us, um, um, my friends, uh, we choose the history, and uh, it's not uh, the, the, the subject related to the English, but uh, we choose to learn something about history. And in the college, the, the his, history teachers are very interesting. <laughs> so we learn to li to to uh, to uh, listen to them, just like the talk show. <laughs> so I know <laughs> some information about uh, the history, maybe some uh, some interesting stories. Uh, that's the reason. Okay. Uh, most people know the history. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, that's, that's a lot to know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. So I will. Have